Hello, my name is Doug Davis from SmiteWorks. Today I'm going to show you how to add your own lighting definitions along with line of sight and then to export that as an XML file that you could then share with our community to update our entire back catalog. So there's a uh, form link that I'll include the, in the description of the video below. Click on that, uh, attach your XML file that you've created, and then we'll be able to load that into the system so that everybody will get it automatically in our updated uh, in our patch system whenever they run an update. So this right now currently uh, only applies to version 4.1, which is in test as of uh, March 12th, 2021. Eventually that will roll to our live channel and then uh, you won't have to worry about that. But for now, let's go ahead and show you what to do. So basically I've loaded up a map. I just loaded it directly from my library. I grabbed uh, a map that did not have lighting already defined, went into images and selected one of the battle maps. In this particular case, it's the player map, Wormheart Mine S1. So I've loaded that up. I've turned off my grid here under the grid section. Just turn it off because I don't uh, want that to, to display. I've verified that we do have line of sight. The line of sight is all set up the way that I would like it to be. And then I went through and I added individual lights here, 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 etc. Once, <clears throat> excuse me, once I had all of those set, you'll see that you'll have multiple layers, a lights layer, and maybe an ambient light later if, if, if you've added ambient light, and then you've got the, the actual map with an image. That's on its own separate layer, and you'll see that it has walls as well. You'll, you will right click on that, and there's a new option now that says export metadata. I click on export metadata, and this is off screen here, and it basically will uh, show you. Let me shrink that over a bit. There we go. So basically, I'm just going to put it in my documents, just in an XML data file, and it will make this file here called Player Map Wormheartmine S1.xml. It'll always be the same name as whatever the image is, and then it just adds the .xml on the end. We will be able to uh, take that file if you upload it to our forms and attach it as an attachment. We will be able to take that file, put it in with our actual uh, side by side with the actual image itself. And then uh, when we push out that update, as soon as you guys use the map, you'll automatically get everybody uh, in the community will get that updated version. So um, if you check with Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus helps kind of us process this from our from our um, community source project. And um, that helps us go through our back catalog. So thanks a lot for any help you can do. Send us these XML files and we will get them loaded in. And, and together we can kind of plow through a lot of our back catalog, add some great lighting features for everybody to use. Thanks for watching. Take care.